welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have five different boxes to share with you all. This week we have some Coco Kind PR, the Bath Bevy and the Bath Bevy Tubless Boxes, the Wix Wax Club, Munchy Mountain, and the Wild Grain Box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and on Sundays I like to unbox multiple in one video so that you can see them all at once. So if you do like these Sunday videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today going through all of these boxes. Now, last week I did post a Q&A video that includes some pretty big life updates and channel updates. So if you've missed that video, definitely make sure you go check that out. You do get to learn a little bit more about me and then like I said, there are some life and channel updates in there. So I just wanna make sure that just in case you missed it, that you get the chance to go check that out. Now, everything in the video today was sent to me free for review with the exception of the wild grain box. I did pay for the wild grain box with my own money and as we're going through the video be thinking about your favorite box of the video or favorite product of the video because as always at the end I share my favorite box and product and I love for you to share yours as well all right let's kick things off with some Coco kind PR um, so they did send me two different products I think one of them the vitamin C glow serum they have sent to me before potentially um, so the little card that says welcome to the sea sweet um, so to get that glowy even toned skin with the brightest serums in the biz now all of Coco Kind's skincare is um, clinically tested for sensitive skin so if you're a sensitive skin girly guy or anything in between this brand could be for you and it's also cruelty free and vegan. All right, so up first, let's talk about their chlorophyll discoloration serum. They call this Chief Discoloration Officer. Um, and it was sold out, I guess it went viral, and now it is back. So it has 1% alpha arbutin for um, even skin tone and reduced redness. So um, this helps fade spots, offset redness, and boost radiance. Um, and this can be used in the AM or PM. Um, both of these are available at Ulta and CocoKind.com if you want to check them out. So it comes in this little bottle and like it's like green inside. It kind of looks like the like those green smoothies. It looks like it's got a lot of goodness inside. I might actually give this one to my sister because she's been having some problem. Like her skin gets really red and discolorated. So this could really help. Um, so it has that 1% alpha arbutin to reduce the appearance of discoloration, redness, post blemish marks, and signs of UV damage. It has licorice root and panthenol, which is vitamin B5, that also help even the complexion, leaving your skin glowing and suitable for all skin types. Really, really cool. I love how green it is. Green is my favorite color, so I'm kind of obsessed with like this whole green vibe. I'm so here for it. And then they did also send over their vitamin C glow serum. They call this their chief glow officer. Um, this one has over a thousand five star reviews. And this is what the little bottle looks like. Um, so this ha has overall brightening and healthy aging support with it. Again, works AM or PM. Just these cute little draw. I love this blue color. These are like blue and green are some of my favorite colors. So this has a stable vitamin C serum um, that helps brighten up firm and defend skin against environmental stressors, gently paired with um, azelaic acid to reduce the look of dark spots over time, um, improving, you know, your skin tone and um, also or in like uneven skin tone is what I meant to say there. It has hyaluronic acid and sea grape caviar that help plump skin surface with hydration and reinforce skin's moisture barrier. So nice, hydrating, beautiful serums. So I do feel like when I get into January, I do like to up my skincare game, like as my like a little self-care thing. And so I'm very excited to try out um, both of these little serums. If you wanna try them out too, like I said, I will, um, I guess I'll leave a link to Coco Kind's website down below, um, but you can get them at Ulta or at CocoKind.com. Up next, let's dive into the Bath Bevy and the Bath Bevy Tubless Boxes for January. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Bath Bevy Box, this is a monthly bath subscription. So it comes with things like bath bombs, bubble bars, bubble bath, 
bath salts, all sorts of fun things for the bath. Each month has a theme that it revolves around and the box itself is $43.21 a month plus shipping. She then does also have a tubless version. So if you don't have a shower, no, if you don't have a bathtub, can't take baths, don't like taking baths, then the tubless box may be for you. It will not have like bath specific products like a bath bomb or bubble bar, but it may have things like a shower steamer or a lotion or a candle or things like that. Um, most of the products in the boxes are made by the owner, Samantha, who is the owner of Bath Bevy herself. Um, but then they do also sometimes feature some other small bath brands as well which is really awesome and I'm obsessed with her products. So let's dive in. We're gonna start with the regular box and it does look like the theme for January is snow day. Oh my gosh, I want a snow day so bad. I know a lot of people like hate snow. I think because I live down south, I really love snow because when we get snow, it's not usually a lot and it doesn't usually last long. Um, I know a lot of y'all got snow. So let me know down in the comments, did you get snow where you are? Cause of the, some of the storms that have come through. We've just gotten rain here where I am in Virginia. Um, but I'm like, I really would like a good snow. Last year we didn't get a good snow. I just need one good snow, a good snow walk. Maybe this will be manifesting it. So on the front you do have the theme. Like I said, it's snow day. And then on the back, it does go over everything inside. Um, it does look like there's five products listed here, but one of these is a trio. So I'm excited to get inside. We're going to kick the very first product off with this one. This is the Snowed in Bubble Salt. Now this is by Two Wild Hairs. Looks like everything else in the box is made by Bath Bevy, but this one is by Two Wild Hairs. Um, so it says that this is a mineral rich bubble bath blend with three salts and the bright scent of uh, cherry, lime, citrus, and berry. Oh, okay. That sounds really good. I'm going to cut it open so we can smell it. Oh, I love it. It's cherry heavy, but it definitely smells like fruit punch because of all those fruits together. It is kind of blue and you can see some of the salts and things inside of that. I don't want to spill it all over the table. But it's, it smells delicious. Fruity flavored bath products tend to be my favorite. I just love fruity bath scents. And this one smells really, really nice. So I'm very excited to take a bath of it. Tonight is bath night. So maybe I will have to use some of this, but we have other bath products. So let's see. All right. Up next, we have a whipped soap. Um, and I got mine in Huga Happy, but they do also, you could have also gotten it in lavender pajamas. So this is just a nice whipped soap. This is different than the soap scrubs, which I am obsessed with. This is still great. I just, soap scrubs are more my vibe, but which we will have one. Don't worry. Um, Oh, it smells so good. It's just a whipped soap. You can kind of use this as a body wash. You can use it as a soap, a cleanser to clean your skin, however you want. It doesn't leave a greasy or sticky feel. So Huga Happy, we've definitely, I feel like I got a, I've, we've gotten stuff like in that scent before, which I really like. So it has scent notes of ripe pear, vanilla bean, toasted maple wood, and amber. Delicious scent. A very nice little whipped soap. Then we did receive a whipped soap scrub. So the difference in this is that this has like those sugar granules or granules in it that you can kind of exfoliate with. And this is their hot cocoa whipped soap scrub. Oh my gosh, this sounds incredible. Her soap scrubs are probably my favorite product that she has. I really love them. I love these pre-shave of like the legs. It doesn't leave your skin like greasy and things. Some of the scrubs I've used before shaving to loosen the hair follicles, like leave a grease or a film and then it clogs your razor. This does not do that. And I'm, I'm so excited to smell this hot cocoa scent. Do I need to go make hot cocoa? <laughs> because I feel like I do. It smells just like hot cocoa, like a Swiss miss. Like, oh, oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to like, I want to eat it. Don't absolutely don't. It's soap, but oh my goodness, that smells. Okay. I love this. This is perfect. Cause for me, like a snow day is not a snow day. If you do not have hot chocolate with it, but that's just me. Very excited. Okay. Up next, we do have this little snowball fight bath bomb trio, which comes with three bath bombs. So it says stay frosty with this lovely trio of bath bombs, all scented with peppermint essential oil. Use one at a time or all at once. Ooh, I'm excited to see what these look like. Oh, they smell so pepperminty and good. Now, I will say that they are definitely smaller than her normal bath bombs. So personally, I'll probably put all three in at once, or at least two. Um, but they smell super pepperminty and yummy. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So a nice little set of three of these little bath bombs. It's super duper cute. And then last but not least, we have a solid lotion stick. Um, and this is their silky vanilla one. So it has a scent of caramel, vanilla, and a hint of floral. Ooh, I don't know if I've really used a ton of solid lotion sticks. It looks like basically like a deodorant. Oh, it smells really nice. 
I don't like the feeling of lotion on skin, so I'll have to try this at a time where I definitely need the moisture because I don't know if I'll like it. I don't know if I... Do you like... Y'all like solid lotion sticks? I'm just not a big lotion girly, so I always, you know, like the solid. And I'm like, oh my god, am I not gonna... Am I gonna feel sticky? But it's really nice. I do love that it's like a little twist up there and it does smell delicious. All right, so that is everything in the January Bath Bevy box. I love the theme. And I love everything inside. I will say, I wish that there was like more bath, like there's like the lotion, the soap and the soap scrub and only two like bath products um, since there's five instead of six because we got the trio of bath bombs. I do wish there was a little bit more like bathtub related stuff in here, but I'm not complaining. Everything in here does smell really, really yummy and I love the theme. So let's see what's in the tubless box. I think I mentioned that the tubless box is the same price, that $43.21 a month plus shipping. Um, and it typically does have the same theme as well. So this is also a snow day theme. And this one does list six products on the back. Okay, I'm gonna start off because there are some like somewhat repeats in this one. Um, so you can get both of the boxes, but sometimes there will be repeatable products. Some things you can get in different scent combos too. So we do get another silky vanilla solid lotion stick. We then also get another hot cocoa whipped soap scrub with y'all. Mm, I'm excited about that because this mm, it's so good. And then we do also get a whipped soap. Now, like I said, there was the lavender pajamas or the Huga Happy, but in this one, I did get the lavender pajamas. So this has notes of lavender, white musk, vanilla sugar, and warm woods. Let's give this a little sniff. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's really lavendery and good. This is a really nice lavender scent. My mom loves lavender. Maybe I'll have to give her this one because she just, mm. This is like a good cozy lavender scent. It kind of smells like the sleepy scent from um, Lush. Like, this could be a dupe. It smells so, 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 so good. All right, up next we have some Snowflake Shower Steamers. This is a set of two. Now, y'all know I say this every video. Shower steamers you put at the base of your shower. You don't want them in the direct stream of water. You just want a little bit to hit them, turn the temperature up, warm, and close the space, and you'll have just this lovely steam. And yeah, these are peppermint. They smell, I think, just like the um, uh, the one like the bath bombs that we got. So some really fun little peppermint shower steamers. And for me, one of these lasts two showers. So um, for me, this is like four showers worth. Then we do have a little handmade soap by Two Wild Hairs. This is their snowed in soap. So we got the little like the um the bath salt thing, whatever it was called, in the other one. And in this one, we do get a little bar of soap. Ooh, it's the same scent of that cherry, lime, citrus, and berry, but this time just in a bar soap form. Oh, and it smells delicious. And then last but not least, we do get a body wash, and this is their Snow Day Body Wash. Um, and actually, you could have gotten Snow Day or Spot of Tea. I got Snow Day. Um, I really do love her body washes. So the Snow Day has fluffy almond icing, marzipan, rose, and cassia. Oh, I'm excited to smell this. Also, this blue color kind of matches my sweater, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Oh, that smells really, really nice. Oh, I love that. That's a really nice, sweet, winter... I don't know if it's wintry, but just a sweet, nice, like, bakey kind of scent. And I... I'm obsessed. I think it'll be super cute in the shower. It matches me now. I could wear it as like a little accessory because it's so cute and matches. All right, and that is everything in the tubless version of the Bath Bevy box for January. I thought both boxes were really fun. I really love the theme, but definitely let me know your thoughts down below. And I will leave a link in case you're interested in subscribing. All right, up next, let's dive into the Wix Wax Club. I believe this is the January box. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Wix Wax Candle Club, of the month. I don't think, I don't, I can't remember if I've shared this box on my channel before or not, but y'all know I love a good candle subscription. So now they do have different subscriptions. They do have wax melt subscription options too, but today I do have their candle club of the month to share with you where for $16 and 95 cents a month plus shipping, you get a 16 ounce signature jar candle each month. And this is an exclusive scent that you can't purchase like on her site. So she has plenty of other candles. So definitely check out her site. Um, and you can check out all the candles, but to get those kind of exclusive monthly scents, the subscription is an amazing option. And you do also have exclusive access to like limited edition drops and things like that by being a subscriber. And I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 50% off your first box, which is a great price. I'm so excited to get inside. All right, inside of the box, we do have another box, which will have the candle inside. And then there was a little envelope with my name on it. And Amy, the owner, did write me 
I think about, I think it has to do with the scent notes. I think this is the scent notes that for the monthly candle. So I'm going to wait to pull, I will show the, I'll show the candle before I smell it, but we'll read this before I smell it, if that makes sense. Ooh, okay. So this is what the candle looks like. And the scent this month is cookie dough. Oh my gosh. Also, this is like raised. It's very cool. It's like raised. I'm trying not to, to sip it yet. So, um, it, this candle of the month exudes the irresistible aroma of cookie dough, a choice inspired by the universal love for this sweet treat. Imagine the warm, comforting scent of cookies fresh from the oven, transporting you back to simpler times. Picture yourself perched on the kitchen counter as a child, eagerly assisting your mom in mixing the cookie dough. The responsibility of cracking eggs made you feel crucial to the baking process and you couldn't resist sneaking a taste when mom wasn't looking. The anticipation built up for that moment, she handed you the beater, coated in delicious batter for you to enjoy. Every time you light this candle, I hope you, it rekindles those cherished memories of baking with your mom, capturing the essence of those special days spent together in the kitchen. Warmest regards, Amy. Ooh, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so excited to smell this because I do love a good cookie dough moment. Um, So it does have that type of, oh, I can already smell it. Oh my gosh. So it does have a nice little like standard wax and wick. Oh my goodness, it's so yummy. It, I like butter is like I'm getting that butteriness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells like cookie dough butter. Yum. Oh my gosh. I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Oops. I just gave the little jar a little kissy. But this smells delicious. I'm obsessed. This smells so cookie doughy. So yummy, so buttery, so baked goods. And uh, I feel like that's a good winter candle, like a baked goods candle. Um kind of smell like i said i think i received this in january so i'm believing that this is the um january box so i will leave um a link down below again if you're more of a wax melts person then she does have wax melt subscriptions as well but if you do love a candle like me this is um an option for you as well and i will leave that 50 percent off coupon code down there as well all right up next let's dive into the munchie mountain limited edition valentine's box so excited. I've definitely unboxed the Valentine's box here in previous years and their Halloween box last year as well. And this box is so fun. Now, the Valentine's Day box is a limited edition box. So it's not a subscription, it's a one-time purchase. However, Mountie Munchin is a monthly snack subscription. So if you're looking for a snack subscription, they are a great option. I don't think they've ever sent me the regular subscription, so I haven't seen that one before, but the regular box is $39.95 monthly. This limited edition Valentine's box is $59.95. The one I was just looking at, it was like on sale for $49.95, so you might be able to get it for a different price. And I do have the code subbox level where you can get 15% off your a single order. So it doesn't apply to the subscription box, but if you wanted to get this like limited edition Valentine's Day box, it should apply to that. Now, basically this is gonna be all Valentine's Day themed candies and snacks. Um, this is so fun. It is pricey for snacks, but I feel like you get so much variety that if you went out and bought all of those things individually, it would cost you a lot more because you'd have to buy them in bigger quantities. And so I think this is so fun. This is an amazing gift to send to somebody to have grandkids or um, nieces, nephews, or just, sisters, friends, whatever. This could be just, or college students, this could just be such a fun little care package Valentine's Day box. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. Now I will say this box is full of like all the things that my mom would never buy for me as a kid because she was just so healthy. And so this is like my childhood dream come true. Um, so let's dive into this Valentine's Day box. I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not gonna necessarily taste anything, but I will just show everything up there because you do get like a ton. I don't know exactly how many snacks you get. I don't know if it says how many snacks you get, but oh, 75 Valentine's Day candies inside. So yeah, um, we're just gonna go through and share all the stuff inside. Up first, we have two little packages of Utz Valentine's cheese balls. We've got some Chex Mix Muddy Buddies, a mini bag of Doritos, as well as a mini bag of Cheetos Asteroids. I've got some Fruit Loop Sweethearts, some Cheez-It Originals, uh, as well as some Garden Veggie Mini Hearts in Sea Salt. We've got from Popcornopolis some Kettle Corn Popcorn. Then just like a little happy, have a happy Valentine's Day like notebook. We've got some Sour Punch candies. I think there's two like red ones and then I've got a green and a blue. So four of those. I right, got a couple different lollipops. So there's the Be My Valentine cherry lollipops. I've got two of those so far. There might be some dug below. Who knows? Um, I've got this like twirly one. Then there's a two from little Valentine's Day 
cart as well. Then we've got two little Haribo bags. It looks like these ones only have the little red and whites, which honestly are my favorite Haribo flavors or colors. We've got some Mother's Little Puppy Love frosted animal cookies, some Pillsbury mini chocolate chip cookies, some Pirate's Booty. Then we've got some Utz Valentine's X and O shaped pretzels. Actually, we've got two bags of those. I missed one. Then we've got some ooh, nerd gummy clusters. Rachel was sending me a picture of these the other day, and I think I might want to buy a full-size bag of those because those look amazing. Um, then we also have a Warhead Sour Pucker Dipper Pack in Blue Raspberry. I love sour, and I love blue raspberry, so very excited for that. We've got four little things of Smarties, two little Sour Patch Kids packs. We do have a box of Smarties Love Hearts three little Reese's hearts. Oh, my boyfriend's gonna love these. We got some chocolate Rice Krispie treats. He loves lots of chocolate things. And then there's also a chocolate drizzle Rice Krispie treat. Got two little Welch's fruit snack packs, two Black Forest gummy heart packs. We've got two regular Kit Kats. And then we've also got a raspberry and cream Kit Kat and a wafers and cream Kit Kat. So four little mini Kit Kats. So I've got three little things of Starbursts, three Laffy Taffies. We've got banana, cherry, and sour apple. We've got a fruit roll up mini. And then we've got two little Three Musketeers and then also a Milky Way mini. Two little fun dip packets. One of them is the Raz Apple Magic Dip and the other one is the Cherry Yum Diddly Dip. Then we've got two different sets of two Hershey's. I think they're kind of the same though. Maybe one of the sizes is different, but four Hershey bars total. All right, some more lollipops. There's another one of these little cherry lollipops that I showed at the beginning. And then we also have two little purple guessing grape heart-shaped lollipops. Then we've got a little, a little bag of Hershey's Kisses, a little bag of Skittles, a little bag of Swedish Fish, um, a little double Twizzler pack, and one little Reese's cup. And that is everything inside of the box. There's so many goodies. Like, I'm so excited to dive into these, but I do have to take a picture of the box before I can taste any of the stuff. So mm, I'm excited to do that later and have my little snacky snacks because this is so fun. There's just so much variety and so many things and I love the mix and I love how everything's super Valentine's themed and I really love it. A lot of them have the to and the from to them. So if you have stuff in there that you wanted to give on to somebody for Valentine's Day, you could do that and then keep some for yourself or however you want to do it. But I think that this, it's either an amazing treat yourself moment or also an amazing gift to gift to somebody this Valentine's Day. So I will leave the link down below. And again, I do have that 15% off coupon code of a single order. All right, last but not least, let's dive into the Wild Grain box for January. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Wild Grain box, this is a monthly baked goods slash pasta subscription where each month you get these baked goods and pastas sent to you frozen that you get to bake fresh at home and their stuff is out of this world good. Seriously. As a German, I'm picky with my breads. Their breads are incredible. And I love that I'm able to freeze them and bake them when I'm ready. Um, sometimes you buy a loaf and you're like, you don't get to it and then it goes bad. And so this way you bake it exactly when you need it. And it is just so good. A lot of their loaves use sourdough and things that are a little bit easier um, for your stomach and digestion. You can learn more about that on their website. They do also have pastries and baked goods. And a key important factor is that you do get to customize your box. So every month they'll automatically like slot in the products, but you can go in and exchange, like change them out for the products that you want. So I go in and I customize my box each month. You can like skip months and do things like that as well. Um, the box is $89 a month. So it's not the cheapest box, but the stuff that you get inside is quality. I pay for this with my own money and you see that I continue to show it on the channel because I genuinely love this box so much. Now I used to have a coupon code. Like I said, I do pay for this with my own money, um, but I do work with them and like have a link and stuff like that too from like my first box they sent to me for your review and now I'm obsessed. Um, but they switched their system. So I think my code will still give you $10 off, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So you have to let me know down below, but I'll leave that down below um, with a link if you're interested in signing up. And now let's dive into everything inside. I, like I said, I am obsessed. Now, you know, we'll start with the first thing because the first thing is no longer here and I didn't even save the packaging because whoopsie. Um, and that is their chocolate croissants. Now, 
Um, when you sign up, there is a deal of like, if you sign up now, you get free croissants with a lifetime of your subscription. And I have free regular croissants with a lifetime of my subscription, but it did let me switch it out. And so I switched it out for chocolate croissants because my boyfriend and I had been talking about like chocolate croissants and how good they were. And then this came up and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could switch it out because I saw that they had chocolate croissants and I was able to. They were so good. My boyfriend wolfed them down so fast. Um, it came in a pack of four and they were delicious. I didn't take pictures. I didn't like, I, I'm a bad <laughs> YouTuber because I didn't save anything to show you, but they were incredible. All right. Up next, I have to talk about this because it's new this month and I saw it and I'm like, I have to get it. And I do have a favorites video going up, um, this week. And let's just say this is in my favorites video and it is Salted churned French butter from Le Gaulle. And this stuff is the best butter I have ever had in my life. Also, butter to a bread subscription makes so much sense. Now I did look this up. If you just bought it as is, it's like $16 for this thing of butter. It's so good. So it says, made by Le Gaulle, a century old French family run creamery. This traditional butter is the ideal match for our artisan breads. It takes 24 hours to make using hand-picked creams churned in traditional barrels. We hope you like it as much as we do. I'm obsessed. It's so good. I went ahead and bought a little butter dish to put this in, but I wanted to like film it in the packaging. Um, there's a whole section of it gone. This is the type of butter that like you could just eat as butter and be fine because I'm gonna be honest I did cut a little slice of it and I tried it and I was like oh my gosh I know people are like obsessed with French butter right now this is insane it's so good this is the type of butter where like you don't even need it to melt on bread like you could just have chunks like cheese of butter on the bread like butabrot and it just it's so good it's incredible this has changed my life I'm not even gonna lie it is this butter has changed my life this is like so good and on top of the their bread is such good quality this butter is such a good quality it's just a whole nother experience and I hope they continue to um I hope they continue to con like have this as an option for boxes I don't think I, I will use up this enough to have to get it every single month but I absolutely will be re-adding this if I can because it is so like incredibly delicious in fact after I'm done filming today I might make myself a little like I had their um I did make their Asiago bread from that I got in the prior month or whatever I finally baked that so I might make some of that with this because mm, it's delicious then something else that the box is now empty are the strawberry rhubarb turnovers this will also be in my favorites video because I keep adding them on and they're, they're like, you know, uh, selecting these and they're just so good. So it says here, indulge in our strawberry rhubarb turnovers with their golden flaky crust enveloping a luscious blend of sweet strawberries and tangy rhubarb. Each bite offers a bite of ten a tender center, crisp edges, and a buttery richness. These are so good. It comes in, uh, there's four that come in this. They do come like plastic wrapped or saran wrapped in two, pairs of two. So I usually bake two at a time and eat two at a time. I did might have eaten all four of these in the course of two days, but it's fine. They're just so good. Um, they're just delicious. I love strawberry and rhubarb. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's got that fruitiness, it's got that tanginess. I just, I'm obsessed and I love these so much. They're not like the pretty, they're not the cutest thing once they've been baked, but they taste amazing. All right, then this is, I feel like in every month's haul, we get some wood-fired plain bagels. These are a little bit thinner than like your normal bagel, but really, really enjoy these. My boyfriend, I like making these, you know, with a little bit of cream cheese for breakfast. And so these have just become a staple because you can just heat them up as you need and they taste really, really good. Then we've got some fresh cheese tortellini. Y'all know, I usually get these out of the pastas. They do have tonarelli and these other ones, but the cheese tortellini is just my favorite. They have nochi. And so yeah, you cook these six to eight minutes and they're good. Oh, for the bagels, it's 400 degrees and you bake them five to eight minutes and then let them cool for 10. For the rhubarb tarts, um, 400 degrees, 24 to 30 minutes, and you let them rest at 10. Now onto the breads themselves. So I, I'm trying a loaf that I don't think I've tried before, and this is their sourdough whole wheat bread. I don't know if I've tried the whole wheat one before, but I wanted to try something new. So this one you do bake at 450 degrees for 18 to 24 minutes, and then you do need to let it cool for 20 minutes to finish the bake. So all in all, by the time the oven preheats, you put it in, you take it out. It takes about a full hour, you know, for a loaf to be ready. Um, but these are so good. It's like a truly a fresh baked loaf when you take it out of the oven and yeah um i'm very excited my dad's birthday's coming up and we're like cooking dinner for him so i might um make this bread to go with the dinner 
And then my all-time favorite loaf that you've seen me show a million times is their slow, th slow fermented three seed bread. This is my favorite loaf that they do. It's got little nuts in it and seeds and it's just really crunchy, or not nuts, but it has seeds in it and it's crunchy. This one's 400 degrees, 18 to 22 minutes, and then you rest for 20. So I really, really love their breads. The butter is just Mm, so good and I'm just I'm really truly obsessed with this box. I love everything inside It's a little bit pricey, but the quality of the stuff you get is like well beyond what you can get at like your average grocery store um, And if you were to pay for this out, it would probably cost way more than it does through the subscription Plus it does get shipped to you, you know with ice packages and all that kind of stuff. So um, you're also helping the bakeries like there's some small bakeries I think they're up in New Jersey or whatever that make this stuff So you're helping those small bakeries up there by supporting this box I love this box, y'all know it. So I'll leave my $10 off coupon code, hoping that it still works down in the description box below. And that is everything in this week's subscription box Sunday video. So now let's talk favorite box and favorite product. All right, I think favorite box goes to Munchie Mountain because it's just so fun. There's so many fun Valentine's Eve snacks and things in there, so that has to be my favorite box. But my favorite product has to go to this butter that has completely changed my life. Uh, if you want your life changed too, get this butter, it's incredible. Like the churned French butter is like, in just in to die for. So um, yes, highly, highly, highly recommend this butter. <laughs> like I said, you can get it through um, um, the Wild Grain Box. You can probably get it other places too from the Legal brand or other French churned butters. But y'all, those are my favorite box and favorite products. So definitely let me know what is your favorite box and your favorite product down below. Again, this week I do have my winter favorites video going up. So lots of fun things in that. And if you missed my Q and A video from last week, definitely check that out as well. If you liked this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.